Oxygen is something that we rarely think about until we're deprived of it. Without oxygen, we just die. Same thing with business. In business, cash and cash flow is your oxygen. Without cash flow, your business will eventually die. Delaying it and also putting a band-aid for temporary fixes is not gonna solve that cash flow problem, which ends up you going into a very, very slow death. Today, we're gonna be talking about how do you assess your business health so then that way you can get clarity on it so then that way you are going to be posed for success my name is wilson serial entrepreneur and owner of multiple seven figure business make sure you subscribe along the journey because i'm going to be sharing a lot more of my personal business experience with you and how do you run a restaurant all these goodies with you along my journey it is extremely critical that you understand your business health because as business we need to understand all the vital signs to see how healthy our business is if we leave this blurry and if we don't have clarity on that then unfortunately you're not running an efficient business and if you're not running an efficient business it can easily go bankrupt and that's the reason why we hear business owners pulling their hair out business owners going in debt going into bankruptcy and yet we see other people thrive having this vehicle that cash flows for them year after year and allowing them to have financial and location independence. And that's the reason why we're doing this video for you today. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Just as a disclaimer, I need to make sure that we emphasize why we're doing this. Understanding and having clarity of these numbers will allow you to know which levers to pull in order for you to be able to have more profits in your pocket. And that's the reason why we're doing this. Now let's dive into number one, current cash balances. Make sure you guys understand your current cash balance. This is your ammunition. This is where you're able to deploy all your resources to either buy stuff, to stay afloat, whatever the case may be. Understanding how much cash in your bank is super important as much as it sounds like it is something that is, hey, it's standard, but a lot of people don't even know how much they have in their bank, which is the reason why we need to understand their current cash balances that we have in our bank because cash is king. The second number that you need to understand is AR. What does AR stand for? It stands for account receivables. Understand where and who still owes you money. So then that way you can go out and start reclaiming redeeming all these different accounts that people owe you money, whether it's from vendors, whether it be from suppliers, partners, whatever the case is, make sure that you don't have that much AR pending because a lot of us, we're just spending so much time working in the business and yet we for forget that other people owe us money. So these are low hanging fruits that we can use to make sure that we up our cash balances, right? Understanding who owes us money and make sure that you go after it with them. The third thing that you need to understand is cash flow from operations. What does that mean? It means that status quo, everything as is, how much money are you spending? What is your cash flow looking like from your operations if you're keeping the operation as is today? If you're running at a loss every single month, understand how much cash flow you're gonna be out if this sticks for three months. So then that way you understand how much you're budgeted to spend and invest into your business, whether it be profiting. If it's profiting, great. Then now you understand how much profits you can anticipate to receive in the next three months. And then that way you can plan for investment purposes whatsoever. The fourth thing that you need to understand is cash burn rate. What does that mean? That means your total expenses on a monthly basis. Understand that even if you're not in operations, what is your cash flow burn rate? Um, this is super important. A lot of people don't understand that, that if the business does not come in, you still need to pay for rent. You still need to pay for your accounting, your miscellaneous, your uh, labor costs. All these things still needs to come into play to keep your operation up and running. That's your burn rate. Understanding this because this is the minimum break even you need to achieve in order for you to be able to break even. A lot of people don't understand that. That's the reason why they're just rolling in the dark. They don't know where they're heading. They don't know what's break even for them because they don't understand their cash burn rate. Understanding your cash burn rate is super important because that becomes a huge milestone for you and your team. The fifth thing to identify for your business health is 
Variable versus fixed expense. Now let's identify what is a fixed expense. Regardless of how many people come into your restaurant, you still need to pay for rent. That becomes a fixed expense because regardless of whatever happens, you still need to pay for your rental. Whereas labor becomes a variable expense because the more people come in, the more staff you need to make sure that you have to help operate this business. Therefore, it becomes a variable expense. Same thing with cost of goods sold. The more meals you serve, the more you need to order. That is a variable expense. Identify your variable expense versus your fixed expenses. This allows you to understand which levers to pull. Where can you shave off some of the expenses? Where can you shave off perhaps some of your fixed expenses? And where you can shave off some of your variable expenses? The sixth thing to get clarity on for your business health is the payment deferrals. What does it mean? That means that items that can be deferred, whether it be payments to your landlord, to your vendors or suppliers, whatever the case may be, payments that you can actually have terms with, whether it be a 30 day credit or a 60 day credit, it is super important because running as a restaurant, it is so, so tight margins. Without having these terms, without understanding the different payments that you can defer, it becomes very, very very difficult for you to run that tight chip. Understanding your deferral program and then understanding the different payment terms that you can have and establish with your vendors is super important that allows you to take the extra cash flow to reinvest into growing your business bigger and better. Or at the same time, if you're in a crunch time, if you're looking into trying to survive a recession, then this is really important as well because now you can identify which of the payments that you can pay later on. So there you go. Understanding business health is super, super important. And this is only part one. Why is it important? It is once again, having the clarity of these numbers are so, so critical for your success. It is the differentiating factor between running a business that's going to drive you to the ground versus a business that's going to allow you to thrive, becoming a vehicle to cash flow for you. The more you understand about the numbers, the more you understand about these numbers, the more clarity you have on your business. And that is once again, crucial for your success. And that's the reason why I created this video for you as a resource for you to understand all these important factors. Make sure you guys download in the resource sheet below where it becomes a checklist for you and allows you to be able to fill in all the blanks for yourself and allows you to pivot, learn which levers to pull in order for you to have more profits in your pocket. Nonetheless, make sure that you guys check out part two in this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you find any value in this video whatsoever, make sure you smash the like button because that shows me this is the type of content you want. Nonetheless, follow along the journey. I'll see you guys in the next video.